Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. What's going on guys? It's Boomer and Son of Beast here. And we are back with another Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. This part of the matchup is the only ones that we have here for tonight. For our 9.30 game, if you're ready for us, then we will have you out here as soon as possible. The Canucks are facing against the Golden Knights of Vegas. Both teams are tied up with one, but the next one might be coming in to see who will have that one lead off first. Now they are playing at Vegas in Nevada of T-Mobile Arena. As so right now, the next commentary is up. I have is James Cebulski along with Cheryl and Cara Andre in the center ice. And we'll be back with the post-game show as soon as possible once the game has been co concluded for game three. And stick around here for next time. We have game four underway. They're wrapping up this soon. So as we have that one in there, the first part of the game will start things off here for the Lightning against the Canes. That will be the first part of its game in game four. And then, happening to the other side of it, will be only one game for the, for the uh, Western Conference Finals, uh, Western Conference Semifinals, as we have another one coming in there. That will be the next one, Dallas Stars facing against the Jets. Nope, we'll do the Canucks versus the Golden Knights, and then only two games will happen. Right in between of those two, as we have the Bruins and the Maple Leafs, and finally, it's the Stars versus the Jets. So that will be all the games coming underway pretty soon after Game 3 has been concluded. So in the meantime, let's get this thing done. Back off to you guys, and we'll see you all later. Game time, here we go. Puck James, I mean, he's 
screen, there's a ton of traffic, and he finds a buck to make the save. That was a fabulous one. Two minute penalty for Vancouver for slashing. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal at the end, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task to kill this off. Power play unit comes out with a great stop. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one game. You have to act as if you are the hunter. Vancouver penalty, two minutes for us for slashing. Number 481. Summer penalty, 1645 remaining in the, in the period. That's two minute penalty for slashing. Number 81. Summer penalty, 1645. And if you're Knights are on the power play. Across to Miller. 
The Golden Knights gain possession along the wall. Passes it to Theodore. Drifts it and rips it. Stops it cold. Here's a shot, and that goes off the player. Coming close, 
Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Golden Knights take possession on the face-off. Can't maintain possession. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Dijasebi stick handling in his own zone. Sends it into the offensive zone. Vegas has it behind the cage. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. School, this first goal of the playoff score by number 18, Sam Laverty. Time of the goal, 1953 remaining in the first period. That's just Sam Laverty with the goal unassisted, 1953 in the playoffs. Minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. And we're about to drop the puck here on period number two. It was one-sided to see the least in the Oh, and he gets it. He's in the puck to the bottom there. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Shot. There's a shot. And there's a close save on the play. Defoe's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops since he's been two, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Comfortable lead, James. Some would say that that power play really, 
wasn't a big deal, but I would say different. It's really important that you push, you continue to work on your habits because the timing could be different next time. Vancouver's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score, and they have dominated in the shot clock, too. And they win the draw here in their own end. Theodore's got it in the defensive end. Here they come on the attack. Good stand-up hit. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Looks to pass it to Hughes. Through the neutral side and along the books. Here they come. And now it's over to Carlson. Vancouver's gain possession along the boards. Quick feed to Miller. And he slides it quickly to McKinney. And he loses control of the puck. They've got a two on one. Here's a pass. To the net. Oh, my goodness. What a save there. Looks a little busted on the hit to knock the puck loose. From center, they get into the attacking area. And he comes up in. In front, and stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Canucks are giving their fans a lot to cheer about tonight as they lead it 4 1. Vegas has the puck in their own end. Takes the feed. Shot, and he easily stops that one. He's able to make a clean save on that wrister, James. A quick release shot, and he squared to it. Along the half wall with the puck. Moves it quickly over to Kolasar. Gains the zone to center. The Golden Knights play the long wing. Here's a shot. Josh left for the puck, but still moves away. Demko's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. A lot of offense in this one, mostly from one side. We've got 4-1 to score. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. The Canucks are playing against the wall. Tries to get the puck to Petrangelo. And he takes the pass. On the attack along the boards. Puts it up. Makes the save as that goes off the glove. Here's a short pass to Lindholm. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. The Golden Knights gain possession in their own end. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. And that's intercepted by Freeman. Moves the puck over to Garland. The Golden Knights have it from their own end. Wants some open space at center. He's moving the puck through his own zone. They put the puck into the offensive end. The Golden Knights have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Now a quick pass to McNabb. Vegas gains the zone. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. To the front. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Sends it over to Denisenko.
Vegas wins the face-off. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Sends the pass across the ice. The Canucks gain possession. And he takes the feed. Moves around along the half wall. And pass goes off the stick. Zagorov with the first goal, assisted by Wilson and JT Miller. 941 in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Slides it back to the blue. 
Vancouver's got it in their own zone. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Knocks the puck inside for a solid hit. Right up the gun to the offensive end. Moves it to Kovacar. Oh, what a save by Demko. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Vegas gets a hold of the puck against the boards. Takes the feed as center moves up ahead. Going to the slot! And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Slides it over with pace to Miller. And nearing the final minute of the second. Last minute remaining in the second period of the playoffs. Slides it quickly to Carter. The Golden Knights are across the line and into the... Every Golden Knights score by number 49, Evan Barshev. His assistant here by number 46, Chandelier Stephenson. And by number 32, Brandon McNabb. Time to goal, 17.43 remaining in his second period. That's Evan Barbashev with the goal, assisted by Chandler Stephenson and Brandon McNabb. 17.43 in the second period. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Hughes plays it now. The Canucks are on the attack. And he slides it quickly to Besser. Feeds the puck over to Marchessault. Fire it! And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number two. Final bunch up here ready for the next point starting at 12, uh, 20 minutes in the third of the period. Two thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time, Cheryl. How do you do it? The Canucks are about to be here in the third period in part due to their good habits and they've been really effective in all three zones all over the place. Now they just got to bring it home. So managing and protect the puck is everything. Along the right side into the offensive zone. And he was going for that one. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Pokes it away in his own end. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Denied by the goaltender. Demko's going to wait for the whistle, and I don't mind this strategy here, Sheriff. Me neither. I mean, he's had himself a game in Sidney James. He has been dominant between the fights, and he knows he needs to pounce on this puck. He looks at the game clock. They're winning. Not much time left in the third. they got to figure out a way to play it safe. Good hit to pump him off the puck. From the neutral zone now. The Golden Knights take possession of the defensive end. Carlson's got the puck along the wing. Oh, he missed that one. Demko's got great rebound control and just pushes that out of harm's way. Hughes carries the puck in his own zone. He got all that hit on the play. The Golden Knights gain control of the puck. Sends it quickly to Barbashev. Vegas is in the offensive zone. Here's a shot.
busier team in the offensive zone, but they still trail in the third. Lindholm's one of big draw on their own end. Hughes moves the puck. Good use of the puck on the other play. Up the right side and up the middle. On target. Vancouver's got the puck. Battle along the wall. Garland's got the puck in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Lindholm. The Canucks looking against the half wall. Here's a pass in front. And it goes off the stick and off target. Made the stop on the play. Vancouver's game possession. Sends a pass over. This first score of the playoffs score by number 40, Elias Pedersen. Here they come. He's here by number 32, Isaiah uh, Mikaya. And by number 64, Frank Corona. Top of the goal, 11 18 remaining in the third. That's Elias Pedersen with the goal, assisted by Elias Mikaya and Frank Corona. 11 18 in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. And he 
fight, Steve Controller, Lucifer Carlson. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on the fight. Take it the wall by Carlson. Take this draw. The frozen biscuits drop the gear back in the way here. The Golden Knights move to the offensive zone. Quick feed to Carlson. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. On the attack along the boards. Vegas with possession in their own zone. Makes it in front. The Browns take possession of the defensive end. Here they come up along the wing. Picked up along the boards. Puts it on in. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Takes the feed. On the attack into the offensive end. Right up the back. Moves it quickly over to Abadillo. Demko's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Vegas is running out of time late this third period as they continue to trail. Vancouver's got it in the defensive zone. Hughes takes the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. There's a shot. Oh, what a shot to find it! Puck grab by Theodore. Takes the pass. Coming to the front of the net. Turns up and away. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. While we have a moment, let's set it down ringside with our own Carl and Dave. Pedersen's been great at generating offense, and I've been impressed with his game in this one, guys. Stevenson's with the draw here in the offensive zone, and he makes the save on that play. Tempo's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. The Canucks take possession of the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Amadio. Drives to the paint, and that carries off a body in the lane. That good a penalty, two minutes for slashing. Here's the call. Vancouver penalty kill, number 92, two minutes for slashing. Time to penalty, two minutes in a third period. That's a two minute penalty for slashing, number 92, time to penalty, two minutes in a third period. And uh, the Golden Knights are on the power play. Last minute remaining in the third period of the playoffs. Vegas has it 
Thank you so much. That is the end of the game, folks. 7-3 is your final score. Let's check out your three star players of the game. Third star starts things off with Philip Poronek with two assists and 11 hits. He only hit Jen Thierraway instead. Then the second star goes to Ivan Barbashev with two goals and six hits. It just made that one easier look. Had that one slapping it in with the goal and pushing it back in. And your first star player of the game, Tatra Demko. He really had done all of it. Would sit 82 saves this game. Well, I was expecting it now. I mean, that was like, how we really couldn't believe it. And that's where you always just didn't notice how, how that happened. Because it doesn't really mention to one of them before. And you've got to really have that credit in there. Because that was like, unbelievable take. You don't do that much often. When you play for Vancouver Canucks, you've got to play really well. If you don't play hard enough at all, that in strength and courtesy is going to leave you downfall. Every time. You have it in the range with you. You've got to play it right. That's what they all been doing. They're just trying to keep it shutting it down. Here's what he did with the total statistics. 85 over 69 total shots on goal for Vegas. 72 over 61 for Vancouver. Then it was 624 time on attack over 535 for Vegas. Then it was 93 percentage of his passing over 91 for the Vancouver Canucks. They did really well with the faceoff wins for the Golden Knights, they only had 40 and 26, but that didn't really change things over until then. With the penalty kill with only 4 minutes for Vancouver and 2 minutes for Vegas Golden Knights, both teams didn't receive a power play goal, so that ended up a little too short and didn't sound exciting enough. Well, I know, I mean, I don't know what just happened now, but they were really are dominating things off her and they were not impressed at all. I was really worried about how that happened because they, if there was a somebody that would have that power play goals, they shouldn't have that one done often. They could have let that one leave it over and they would have had to finish it right away. So that is it for right now. I hope you all enjoyed this part of the game and we hope they'll see you all again very soon for game four of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. Yeah, that's right. And if you really enjoyed this part of the game, please consider yourself and subscribing to this channel on Son of Beast. Be sure to like, give, like the video, comment the video, and also you can follow on the social medias right in between. Thanks for joining us and have a wonderful night. And with that being said, me along with Tyler B saying so long in Vegas. Until next time. Peace out, folks. For a while, it's the NHL 24 Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Until then, take care, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.